In the marine industry today, decking out a boat can get out of control. From the outrageous stereo systems that will rattle the gunnels off the boat, to the enormous 24-inch chart plotters that cost up to $12,000. Obviously, we can light up the boat and rattle it to pieces with subwoofers, but what about the features for those of us that don't even have that 12 grand in our entire boat? Well, here are the top six features that we think make the functionality and enjoyment of boats 23 feet and under that much better. First off, these days, I have to say power steering. Now this is going to be the priciest item of our list of features today, but if you already have hydraulic steering in the boat, then power assist can be added for around $1,600, and a little bit cheaper if you pick up a used pump from online or from a used parts store, depending on where you live and what you have available. The reason we put the power steering on here is because it is just so much nicer. Over time, steering brackets and pivot tubes can get rusted, sticky, corroded, and just stiffen up making turning in the boat when you are trying to dock a real spectacle for those observing your skills from afar or even those on the boat. That power assist makes turning the engine from lock to lock a breeze and then compared to mechanical cables even better with no feedback meaning straighter tracking and if you take your hands off the wheel the boat doesn't jerk to one side or the other depending on the rotation of the propeller. Once you get used to having hydraulic over mechanical steering then jumping up to that power assist, boating is just that much more enjoyable when you don't feel like you're steering a Mack truck down the canal. Next up on our list is going to be a washdown system. Whether that be the saltwater washdown or just a freshwater washdown system, either of these make time on the water a lot better. When in saltwater, a lot of people enjoy having the freshwater system just so that they can rinse off the salt from themselves when they get out of the water. But for me, I think just having a washdown system available to spray down messes and clean up the boat is fantastic. Whether that's blood, bait, spills, or whatever you can think of, having a functioning washdown system on the boat makes time on the water a better experience. Moving on to lights. Having lights on the boat that actually work are great. And if you are asking what lights, I'd say all of them. From the accent lights like the gunnel lights, courtesy lights, and the underwater lights, to the awesome functional lights like the spotlights, forward spreaders, aft spreaders, and the T-top lights to light up the console when it's dark out. Even the lights inside of the console make it a lot easier to get things done and enjoy the boat. Especially during this time of year now that it gets dark around 6 o'clock in the evening and as the winter gets closer even up to around 5 o'clock. Being able to turn any of these lights on makes using the boat in the morning or evening when it's dark out that much easier. Not to mention that it just looks good in general. Our fourth feature that every boat should have, and most new boats are doing a lot better job of making sure this feature is readily available from anywhere in the boat, are the cup holders. You can never have enough cup holders on the boat. You need them for all kind of catch-alls, from your phones, keys, junk in your pockets, wallets, and all kinds of other stuff, having cup holders to quickly set your cup down when you need to get a rod out of the rod holder, or whenever you are helping someone around the boat, handing stuff back and forth, the more readily accessible the cup holders are, the more enjoyable that boat is going to be, hands down. They are a must, and we haven't figured out all the locations that will be putting the cup holders on the Ocean Master just yet, but as you can see, we need them. I'm thinking we'll probably have about four of them up here on top of the console,
then a couple more on the leaning post here and then we will probably want to have one on each side of the gunnels here up front that can be reached from the seat here on the front of the console. Now for the fifth item, this is something that you might not really think about, but when you are using it, it makes a huge difference, and that is going to be a decent ladder. Having a good ladder with multiple rungs is a must if you are big on getting in the water. And if you're not getting in very much, it's probably not the biggest concern for you, but if you frequent the sandbar, the beach, or diving, snorkeling, lobstering, or getting in the water and swimming in general, having a decent ladder is crucial. And I'm a big proponent for a four rung ladder. The three rungs are nice, but that extra rung when you are at the back of the boat holding on, waiting and handing stuff up into the boat, makes a huge difference when you can stand on that bottom rung to take your fins off or whatever you're trying to do. Whereas the two rung ladders, eh, they get the job done, but they set the enjoyment bar at the level of just being thankful we got back in the boat and didn't drown during the process. Bringing us to our last and final feature that is a must have for your boat, and that is to have some DC or USB power available. Whether it's for charging your phone, camera batteries, running a compressor to easily inflate floaties, to the extreme of running a blender or even using it to run a good handheld spotlight. Having that power readily available is going to advance the experience that you have while on the water and especially impress all of those that you take out with you when someone needs to set a drink down, charge their phone, see what's in their bag, wash down that spilled drink, or get out of the water. Now we'd love to hear from you about what your favorite features are on your boat and if we missed something that you couldn't live without on your boat. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel, you've made that like button turn blue, and check out some of our other videos. Thank you for hanging out with us today. You can visit us at bornagainboating.com and we look forward to seeing you next week.